and that you're so strong. God, that you never leave, that you never forsake us, God, that you are on the throne, that you are on the throne. And God, I pray that you would receive our praise, that you would receive our praise, Lord God. You would receive our worship right now, God. I thank you that you're in heaven on your throne, just delighting in your kids, singing worship, putting you back on the throne, Lord God, over every circumstance, over every circumstance, even if it's the worst news ever, Jesus, you're better, you're so good, and we exalt your name, Lord God. We thank you, Jesus, for who you are. We thank you, Jesus, for what you're doing, even when it doesn't make any sense. That you are a strong tower that we can cling to, that you're unshakable and unmovable, Lord God. That we can stand firmly on who you are and steady on who you are, God. Ever changing you're the same yesterday today and forever and we can always count on you thank you God you are trustworthy some people who need to catch this revelation that for whatever situation that you're walking through in your life that there is a name that you can run into and the Bible says in Philippians 2 that at the name of Jesus at the mention of the name of Jesus every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that he is Lord so that means that this name that we have the opportunity to run into is the highest name in the universe. I'm just really grateful right now in this moment that we've been given this, we've been granted, <laughs> we've been granted. Opportunity is like, I feel like that doesn't even do it justice. We've been granted this inheritance of provision through the name of the Lord. So I just feel like there's some people who, who need to like close your eyes and see this picture of a great fortress, of a great strong tower that can't be, that can't be 
destroyed by anything that the world can throw at it. And you've been given the invitation to run into this fortress, to run into this strong tower and be saved. Where you felt like you've been abandoned, where you felt like you have been cast it away, there's a strong tower. There's a strong tower awaiting you. There's an invitation. The name of the I want to be with 
my rescue and I want to be where you are. I call and you answer. I call you answer. And you came to my rescue and I forsake us that you're you're chasing after us God that all we have to do is humble ourselves before you God we just lift you up bigger than any of our circumstances or any of our brokenness or our disappointment and Jesus you come you come quickly because you love us God that you love each and every person that's that that you've created I feel like there's an encouragement this this 
um, this day to remind you that God sees you, he knows you, and he knows what you need. He didn't forget about you. He didn't forget about the thing that you're, you're, you're crying out for, the thing that you can't figure out how to get past, the pain that is, that is, that is bleeding inside of your heart. God sees you. He knows yeah. you. He's for you. He is a good, he's a good father, and he's after your heart. Yeah. He is on his way. He's on his way. Yeah. Be encouraged, the Lord is on his way. Thank you, Jesus. He's on his way, he won't be late. Oh, he's on his way, he won't be late. Oh, yeah, he's on his way, he won't be late. Oh, he's on his way, he won't be late. Where you won't be late. He's on his way, he won't be late. And when it seems like he's late, oh, I promise he's not late. Yeah, oh, I promise he's not late. Oh, if you need proof, just ask Lazarus. <laughs> If you need proof, just ask Lazarus. Oh, he's on his way, he won't be late. Oh, he's on his way, he won't be late. If you need proof, he won't be late. Just ask Lazarus. He's on his way, he won't be late. He's on his way, he won't be late. Cause I call you answer. Yes, you did. And you came to my rescue. Wanna be where you are? Oh, I call you and turn. Yes, you did, God. And you came to my rescue, and I wanna be. Every time I thought you were late, I realized you were right on time. And through the waiting, oh Lord, you were refining my heart. Yes, you were. Every time I thought you were late, I realized you were right on time. You were refining my heart in the waiting. And if I could just realize that your plans are perfect and if I could just realize you're always right on time oh if I could just realize I could 
situation you're walking through he's healing your perspective and helping you see rightly oh he's healing your perspective in everything sing this in faith.
Greater things are still to come. Oh, I believe if I'm not dead, you're not done. Greater things are still to come. Yes, I believe, yeah. If I'm not dead, you're not done. Greater things are still to come. Oh, I believe if I'm not dead, you're not done. Greater things are still to come. Oh, I believe if I'm not dead, you're not done. Greater things are still to come. Oh, I believe if I'm not dead, you're not done. Greater things, this is my testimony. This is my testimony from death to life. Cause grace rewrote my story. I testify by Jesus Christ, the righteous. I'm justified. This is my testimony. Oh, I'm alive. You're able to declare it like this when God has healed your perspective. When God has delivered you. You're able to testify of his goodness. And even in the middle where deliverance is still on the way, when we testify, something powerful happens in the heavenlies. God's able to break into our situations like never before. This is my testimony from death to life. Cause grace rewrote my story. I testify by Jesus Christ the righteous. I'm justified, this is my testimony, oh, I'm alive. agreement with the lie that the enemy has put in front of us we just break agreement right now in Jesus name that this is not the end of your story that God has more for you he has more for you that this isn't just a happy saying the best is yet to come but that is truth if if you're not dead God's not finished with you yet He's not finished with you yet. He's still writing your story. So wherever you are right now, I, I ask you to posture your heart and come into agreement that we cancel the, the, the assignment of the enemy and the yes. lies that he's speaking over you right now in Jesus name. Yes, Jesus. We cancel it in Jesus name. And Holy Spirit, I pray that your truth would come that your truth would come, yes. that people who have never heard the voice of the Lord right now, God, that they would hear it, that yes. they would hear your truth, Lord God, and it wouldn't just speak to their mind, but it would take root inside of their hearts, Lord God, yes. right now in Jesus' name. I thank you, God, for what you're doing. I thank you for the breakthrough, yes. and I thank you for chains being broken right now in Jesus' name off of people's lives, things that have kept you and held you back. You've been living like you're dead, and you're not. You're not dead. You're alive. Live like it. Jesus paid for it. Jesus paid for it. 
there is more for you. The God, Lord says there's more for you. God says there's more for you. Child, there's more for you. There's more for you. Yeah, God, so we just say yes. We partner, I stand in the gap for anyone right now who is, yes. is stuck. Yes. And we stand in the gap with them and we say, it's, it's yours, the freedom is yours. Yes. Sin has no hold on you. Yes. Lies have no hold on you. Yes. Daughter, son, yes. you are walking in freedom in Jesus' name. Yes, God, thank you, Jesus. You're not dead, you're not done. Greater things are still to come. Oh, I believe if I'm not dead, you're not done. Greater things are still to come. Oh, I believe I'm not dead, then you're not done. No, you're not. Greater things are still to come.